Hey, we are making stuffed Italian burritos. Yes, I've got it in my container instead of a plate. You know I ain't all fancy around here. So let's take a taste. Yum, yum, get you some. Stay tuned if you wanna see how I made it. Look at that. There's cheese and cheese and meat and the burrito shells, mwah. Hello, welcome to my channel. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Thank you for watching. Hey, hey, so here's how we're gonna get started. I have some ground beef that I already have cooked up. I warmed up in the microwave to kind of soften them so I can get them in the skillet better. I did not know how much ground beef I have, so I'm zeroing out my, my skillet here. I'm not using cast iron for this because I'm not trying to do anything like saute or uh, I'm not trying to do anything like uh, sear the meat or cook it. It's already cooked. We're just really, everything is cooked. We're just kind of heating it up together. So I'm not worried about using my cast iron for this. So let's see how much ground beef we have. One point six eight ounce, one pound six ounces. I'm gonna do this way. Six hundred forty-five grams. Six forty-five grams. And also, I'm gonna. We are gonna weigh and see how much I have. Some, uh, you know, I freeze everything. Some great value ricotta cheese. So I'm going to zero it out, re-zero it out so I know how much is in here. 234 grams. 234 gram. All right, so now we're going to move over to the oven. I think the QA is kind of out and dispersed and doing their own thing. They're not so enthralled with me. I did a big meal prep earlier, and now they're just kind of like over it. So some of the seasonings I'm going to use, I've got roasted garlic, rosemary, and sea salt spice blend. That's one I picked up from TJ Maxx. So that's going to have some good salt in it. What are you talking about? Sometimes this Siri just jumps in and tells me all kinds of stuff. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. Gonna add some Italian style herb. I'm gonna add, listen, listen. There's a song. This is some oregano. And if you grew up in the late 70s, mid to late 70s, <laughs> I've got some parsley, rosemary, and thyme. If you know that song, what am I missing? Parsley, mm, rosemary, and thyme. Remember me to one who lives there. She will be my true love affair. So, you tell me. Comment down below what song I'm singing or what, what the spice is that I left out of that song. Come on now, I know y'all can get it. I know some of y'all are my age, maybe even a year or two older. So, yep, you're, you know that a generation, you'll know. You'll know what that song is. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm gonna, uh, like I said, it's already cooked. I'm just finishing heating it up and try to get some of these clumps out of it. And, uh, Go from there. Let me give, ooh, I am so wild. Let's just give one little piece of taste. Let's see, find a piece that isn't like covered. I need some more of this.
I know what I'm missing. Hang on. We don't have a lick of any garlic in there. So we're going to put a little of this in there. I don't know. Tablespoon maybe. Some garlic. Got to have garlic when you're cooking something Italian. I'm going to put some minced onions. I don't know if you have to have onion or not, but I do. Love me some onion. Now, now, now. I'll stir it up before I add salt. I was thinking I probably need more. I need some plain old salt, but before I add it, let me just add all this, uh, stir all this together and see what we think. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, mm, rosemary, and thyme. Remember me to one who lives there. She. I can use a little more salt. She will be my true love affair. And a little bit of no salt. Alright. Now, I'm going to stop adding stuff. Because we are going to have the pasta sauce on it here in a few minutes. So now... I'm going to go ahead and add the ricotta cheese. Alrighty. Now, 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 I'm going to cover this and just let it all kind of meld together because that cheese will kind of help bind it together. You might even be able to add an egg, but I don't want to. I don't want to. This is going to be a stuffed Italian burrito with a whole bunch of them. I got thought about this whenever I was making the enchilada. I was like, okay, so you've got enchiladas for, you know, Southwestern, but do we have anything like that for uh, Italian? And so I think somebody had mentioned manicotti. Somebody had said, you know, like I've heard of uh, lasagna roll up, but mine is going to be. Stuffed Italian burrito. I'm going to let that warm up a little more so it binds together and I'll be back. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Crave. But I need to set it on here so I can scan it and zero it out and all that good stuff. Fifteen. Thirteen. There we go. I don't know why I just wanted that number. So fifteen grams of crave. And I'll stir it all up here. Crave is made out of nutritional yeast and some garlic, I think, and a lot of good flavors. Um, actually, Gina got me those. She had, and those were really, really good. She got me that one and a couple others. And I need to move them up higher on my spice shelf so I see them better. All right, I think this is good enough. Like I said, we're not trying to cook it. We're just trying to make everything stick together, so... Now, let's move to the other side. Okay, so if you have not used egg life wraps very much, 
The thing about them is they definitely stick together. So you have to work very intricately to, now watch, they'll all come apart real good. Maybe it's the plain that's bad. This one is garden salsa flavor. But I have plain ones too, so we'll see if those stick. Usually you get, let's see, one, two, three, I think you get six wraps in a, in a container. Where I'm at, these are $5, so it's a little less than a dollar per wrap. I just want to get them all separated before I, before I get into them because if I don't, then it will be a little bit of an issue. Yep, it's the plain ones. They sure are, they sure are sticky. I think they're probably more wet than the others. Maybe the seasonings in the others kind of help them be a little more dry. And you don't have to use Egg Life. You could use other kind of wraps too. There's so many different wraps out in the world right now. I'm just using these because they are pretty doggone low carb. One, one of these is 25 calories. So, and zero carbs and five protein. So, we get me a daily. All right. So this is how it's going down. We'll kind of alternate them a little bit. So we'll go. Gotta scoop my assembly line down. Hang on here. Now listen, y'all don't need gloves. If you don't use gloves, that's perfectly fine. You know, I'm just a little weird. We know this. And that's okay. It's okay to be weird. So I'm gonna put that little mixture in it. Roll it up and I'll put it seam down, just like I did the enchiladas. I'm going to save this one because it's not a very good one. Looks like it's been to war and back. Okay. Roll this little booger. There we go. <clears throat> and you just want to make sure you, you know, you weigh everything out so you know how much you're using. And then you'll be able to plug it into your tracker app. And it will tell you how many servings it will make based on what you're, what you're tracking. If you're tracking carbs or if you're tracking calories or, <coughs> you know, everybody tracks different types of things. So, based on what you're tracking, you want to plug, plug it into your app. I didn't know how many of these um, egg life wraps I'll end up using. So I'm kind of squishing them down to make room. I could probably stuff them with a little more or a little less. How is your day going? Today's Saturday. I've had a good day. I was going to go to the thrift store, but um, yeah, I've been a little too busy for that. <clears throat> so I don't think that's going to make it on my checklist. <clears throat> but um, I've got to go. I'm going to my mom's tomorrow, which tomorrow for you is today, Sunday. I'll be hanging out with Judy today because I Sunday's Judy day and. Um, so, uh, maybe I can get one more. So anyway, um, I got, I'm hanging out with Judy. I'm taking her shoes and a couple, of, uh, we got her a, uh, a watch cover. So if she falls, it doesn't scarf, scruff up her watch cover or her watch. So I'm going to take her that tomorrow and then her shoes. 
kind of reminds me of rolling a cigar. <laughs> Never rolled a cigar, but it's remind, what it reminds me of. All right, so, scoot it all down. Scoot it all down. All right. Now, now, I need to put these into something. What's left? There's three. Two plain and a salsa one. So I'll put these in a Ziploc bag in a little bit. And I can wash that off in a little bit. Um, let me see. Hang on. Now, I may be way off track, but I'm going to guesstimate it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How many egg life? So six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine egg life wraps. So nine of those. Um, pasta sauce. I'm going to estimate that this makes three servings which I'll find out when I plug it all in. So I'm going to do, Ziggy, what's 113 times two, three? 113 times 23 is 2,000. Oh, Ziggy, Ziggy, 113 times three. Grr. Ziggy, 113 times three. 113 times three is 339. So around 339, maybe 340, whatever we get, we get. Hang on, let me shake it up real quick. Okay. So around 340. Haha, ha, 347. All right, so 347. We're also going to use some Alfredo just for fun. So this, we're gonna use a spoon for. And zero it out. We're gonna get us a little spoon and one serving is 62 grams. So we're going to do 62 grams. Y'all know what I'm doing. Just keep quiet over there. Don't be so judgmental. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Nobody needs to know that I licked the lid. What did I say? Did I say 62 grams? I think I did. Cause that's 62 grams. Cut chow. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of mix this a little bit. Let's put it over here, bring it, bring it around here so you can see a little something, something. And then that. Yeah, buddy. You know that's gonna be some good stuff, Maynard. I don't care what nobody says. Them Italian people, they know something, something. Now, just to make it look pretty, I'm going to take a little parsley. And I'm going to go... We're just going to say, oh, look how pretty that's going to look. Now, I got the oven preheating to 350, and it hasn't beeped yet. So when it does, we're going to put it in the oven, so I'll be right back. Y'all have some nerve. Like, for real, you all have some nerve. Y'all didn't even take, point out, Terry, you forgot the mozzarella cheese. Not a one of y'all said a word. Mm, mm, mm. You all are something else. Ain't you something? Those so-and-sos. I'm just kidding. I bet a lot of y'all were like, are you not going to put any cheese on the top of that? Well, yes, I am. I just forgot. Shocker. All right, so mozzarella cheese. This is the low-fat one. A serving is 28 grams. So we're going to do two servings worth on here. So 28, 28, well, that's about right at 30. No, I mean right at 60. Let's see how it looks. There's 26 grams. Get 
69, 60. All right, now, now, now. Now, 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 60 grand. The thing still hasn't beeped yet, but it's all right. I'm gonna put it in there and we'll do, we'll do 20 minutes. Ziggy, oven timer, 20 minutes. Oven timer, 20 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here and I'll do the math and stuff and I'll be back with you. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? Mmm, you know, you know it's gonna taste good. Them Italian people don't fool around. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, you know I gotta let it cool down a little bit before we taste it. But just look at that. That is gonna be so yummy. Let me get you the macros. Hold on. Okay, so I'll have the macros listed, but I figure I'll read it to you. Um, with the ingredients I use, this is what it is. Please keep in mind, you can use different mozzarella cheese, different ricotta cheese. You can use uh, uh, Rayo's pasta sauce, and I think it's two carbs less. So just, just know that you can, you can lower what you need to lower for how you're eating. So don't, don't be all, well, you got too many carbs or you got too much this. Remember, I'm in maintenance mode. So five servings is about 325 grams. 612 calories, 38.2 protein, 10 net carbs, 12 point something total carbs. I'll have it down in the down the description. And then 44.9 fat. So that's the uh, that's how much that's what's in here. So this is gonna make five servings, and we know I did nine burritos shells. So if I would have done ten, that would have been two burritos. So each one is going to get one burrito and a little piece of another one. So we'll deal with that whenever I, you know, weigh it all out because you know I'm going to measure it all. So anyway, I'm going to let it cool for a while and I'll get back to you. So I got in the five servings. Look how pretty this looks. Some of them don't look so pretty. Like here's one. Because I tried to do it by weight and it was kind of all over the place. But let's taste it. The bite's not going to be fancy. Let me see. Let me get a spot that's got a little wrap in it. It's got a little meat and cheese in it. Ooh, come on here, fella. There we go. Get a little of this. Ready? I'm telling you. Those Italian people, they know a little something, something. They're smart people. So, there you go. Okay, bye.